It's a secret laboratory that China doesn't want anyone to see. CNN is the first media outlet to get this close to where China actually builds its spy balloons. A military helicopter is seen sitting inside the facility's gates, dispelling any notion that the balloons are, you know, not used for military purposes. Will Ripley was there and filed this out front investigation. Hundreds of miles from Beijing, a place China doesn't want you to see. CNN, the first international media to come here. Behind a sea of barbed wire and security checkpoints, the base of a blacklisted balloon manufacturer, one of six Chinese entities the U.S. government sanctioned after that suspected spy balloon. They just shot it. Shot down, pulled up, and sent to an FBI lab. Each piece providing more proof, the U.S. says, this was no weather balloon, deflating denial after denial by Beijing. China's foreign ministry calls the whole thing an accident. The balloon, an unmanned civilian airship. CNN's search for the truth behind the balloon took our team from the Chinese capital to Shanxi province, about 300 miles southwest of Beijing. Days of digging and geolocation technology took us down this road to a place few outsiders have seen. No international media has ever come this close. What did we find? An active industrial complex with possible ties to the Chinese military's vast, highly secretive aerospace program. Eagles Men Aviation Science and Technology, or EMAST, blacklisted by the U.S. Commerce Department. CNN searched corporate records, suggesting EMAST has permits to develop and manufacture products for the Chinese military. The first thing we notice, a giant white dome. A closer look shows the company logo. Inside that dome, a lab. We dug up a 2017 Chinese state media report. The report says this is where workers test high-altitude balloons, like the one that flew over the U.S. Our team spotted two more massive structures. They look like giant tents. Search of state media archives reveals their true purpose. Huge stealth hangars helping military choppers evade detection by prying eyes. CNN cameras also capture this what seems to be an assault helicopter on display. And listen to this, that same state media report, never once does it mention meteorology. It boasts the balloons can carry multiple detectors, communications equipment used for civilian and military surveillance and reconnaissance. CNN tried to get answers from all six companies on the U.S. blacklist. No response from EMAST or the others. They're not talking about the balloon, but President Joe Biden is. I make no apologies for taking down that balloon. A suspected spy balloon. We may never know for sure who made it. China is sticking to its weather balloon claim, dismissed by the Pentagon as nothing but hot air. This facility is located in the city of Changji, and by Chinese standards, it's relatively small, around 3 million people. But what makes this location highly significant is that this factory is very close to a very large Chinese military base. And in fact, when our team was flying into this city, they were instructed by the air crew to close the window shades on the plane because they didn't want the passengers looking out the window or taking pictures of a sensitive military site right next to this balloon factory, Aaron.